Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Plan B Terraform. Our planet continues to warm. Basically, the greenhouse gases are handling all that. Got our, our production going. Really, we don't need this anymore. So this is just going to continue operating as long as these fields continue to work. So we'll, we'll leave that alone. Nagoya and Guangzhou have run into the issue where they now need... Uh, well, uh, it looks like Nagoya just needs reinforced concrete and oxygen to keep up, which is not happening. <laughs> so let's go ahead and set up another supply on this side of the city. Oh, that's kind of interesting. As your population recedes, you have like these old buildings that are like kind of decrepit. That's kind of cool. Neat, neat little uh, detail there. Depot, oxygen. We're gonna throw some more oxygen generators around this guy. I forget where those even exist. Ah, let's do five. You'll be, you'll be set forever for oxygen anyway. So the reinforced concrete. We're trying to get that sorted. And this guy's up and running, thankfully. But we're running out of sulfur which is what this guy is supposed to help with. But this guy doesn't have enough trucks to keep up. And maybe what we should do is swap that out for rail. Can you combine rails together? I bet you can. Let's think about this. So like if I wanted to just connect over here and then come on over. That is... <laughs> This is the worst rail that's ever existed. Hold on. Uh, oh, like this. There's the circle. And then delete these, like, the middle guy. There. Ha 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 ha. And now, if we swap you for a double guy, now you're in the range of both. And then we'll throw down a train. Here. And then we'll have this train jump onto the same track and deliver concrete right to this guy which should also be a double a double drone i was way too cute about like i need more single drone things nah -uh. single drones are bad in general holy hell where are you delivering you're delivering concrete here oh that's for the recycling center interesting well, I guess you just, like, hang out there for now. Because <laughs> we don't need to make recycling centers. What we do need to do for Nagoya is Nagoya actually needs... Uh, eventually, we'll need high-tech parts. Once it, it gets above a thousand population, and it's going to take a while to get back there, because it, it was, like, at nine-something, and then the population took a huge nosedive. Uh, the next step for the city is you need high-tech parts. So right now we've got reinforced concrete and oxygen doing just fine. But Guangzhou needs high-tech parts, which I was trying to do with this uh, waste recycling. But it's way slower than, than it should be. I almost think I should get rid of the steel bars here. Because I don't really need them. At least not there. Maybe what I should do here, swap you over here. Remember I was going to haul aluminum over here from this field a long time ago? Why don't we get that set up? Good old 4x4, four four, or 4 excavators. And then all you need is like double, fac double factories pumping out aluminum bars. There's some aluminum just like sitting out there. And then, like, aluminum bar it up. And then just more trains. The key to everything is trains. That's what I've I've discovered in this game. We could take, we honestly, take this old road out of here. And then just zip on north. And then here's the tricky part, is the train needs to do a big circle. Close enough for this drone to be offloading. So I guess what we could do... Honestly, just get rid of... It's 
a little garbage. Ta-da! It's not great. Particularly because you two are in a bad spot. But we can kind of make up for it by putting you here, more metal waste, and then waste disposal guy can go here and there. This is, this is kind of messy, but it'll work. And then these guys, these two things will feed this, this recycler guy. Uh, and we need a train. So as the planet is heating up, basically I'm trying to set up my cities for future success by getting them access to high-tech parts before they need it, or, you know, as they need it, honestly. Aluminum bar. How's Nagoya doing? Population still a little behind. Concrete is caught up with the steel production. However, you're really behind now. I almost think I should divert, you know, this this group that's not delivering concrete anywhere. Maybe you just come on over here. Oh, the road is gone. Like that, sure. You guys come over here. Nope, you're the mechanical parts. You come over here, deliver to this, this guy here. And then we'll swap him for a double a double delivery as well, so they can snag from the trucks. Yes. This is a crazy thing I've invented here. <laughs> I understand why this is over here now. I was like, what is this even doing? I, I understand. The nice thing is, once once Nagoya reaches the point that it needs high-tech parts, Nagoya is going to be, like, zooming, taking off like crazy. Naga the only thing holding Nagoya back right now is the fact that it needs more, more steel to make reinforced concrete with. I almost wonder, I used to have two trains, well, I still do have two trains running over here. Why doesn't this, there we go. I was gonna say, why doesn't this guy have steel bars that it can deliver to the train? It might be, oh, it's actually, the train's not offloading fully. If there's so much like little things in this game that may like kind of, roll forward to make a huge difference. Is there anywhere I could put... Oh, I could put a guy right here. Sorry, people. I'm, like, bulldozing everyone's houses. So, so anything that doesn't get picked up by this guy, this one will snag as it goes by. And then it's just close enough that it can feed this factory. So the more reinforced concrete we can get to Nagoya, the better. We're getting close to 10 degrees, which is great. Let's see how much it, it offloads here. Why are you guys not grabbing this? Hmm. Is it because you're not in the service range? There's only one. That's kind of interesting. That it, it wouldn't grab from this train, even though... Oh, that's the concrete train. Uh... Hmm. So we have two trains delivering. You can put multiple train. Oh, that's interesting. You can put multiple train. Oh, this guy's delivering up here. Oh, so we should maybe increase that to two. And then. Hmm. 
I've just made such a mess over here <laughs> when it comes to the train. Oh, I should. what I should do is I should invert these two. So let's move your de destination over here for now. Move this guy over here, because now this one is in this, this range and this range, and then change this one back. And that will feed this one if it's not full from this guy. Basically, the reason this train exists is once this field is used up, we're gonna have to have a new uh, supply of concrete for Nagoya. That's the whole reason I set that train up. It's not doing anything right now, but in the future it will. So hopefully, now that I've flipped this around, these two depots will be able to offload the steel trains as they roll on through. So that, yeah, these trains are like fully loaded. So if they can unload almost completely, even even if it's like very close, we should be able to start boosting the production of this guy pretty dramatically. The other thing that we could consider doing is I could move this depot like deeper into the city and plunk down uh or maybe like here even and we could plunk down another factory right where the depot is and it's it's close enough to the supply thing too i think i'll do that now actually i'm like deleting a lot of people's houses just to figure this out but i think it's going to be important Go ahead and get rid of this one. Hey, reach a population of 200 in your second biggest city. I think we've already done that. And now reach a total population of 3,000. Well, that's double double objectives in one go. That's kind of fun. Uh, factory. And you are making reinforced concrete as well. Now Nagia should just like take off. Yeah, look at all the drones just starting blasting the, the production line. Still that got only about half of that steel, but then the drones also got sidetracked by loading like the new factory up that seems to be doing just fine okay, we'll, let, we'll let this as these start to unload here they are keeping up with the con the reinforced concrete demand which is nice here we go the the steel guys are going Man, the, the, it's just so there's so much steel that they have to rip off of that that uh train they just can't keep they almost got most of it though so you know i think we're doing okay that's most of a train guangzhou is behind again what are what are you behind on it's high-tech parts well, hopefully that'll start getting solved here as this, this aluminum train starts delivering even more stuff. Because this guy is really, really going to town. We could, you know, I think we should throw down another aluminum bar. I think a train seems to be a little more than two double drones can handle. So having double drones servicing one train, I think, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> The fact that our, our waste disposal has made so much stuff is kind of nuts. I wonder if you... Oh, it's because your steel bar output is full. Huh. Can we use that in anything? Because that's, uh, that's going to limit Guangzhou's growth, too. We could honestly just go over to Dhaka and start trying to help them grow because I've been ignoring them forever. Yeah, they're loaded on concrete. So, what this means is we should move our concrete production elsewhere. I've kind of come to the mind, the, the thought process that you should be making your your materials elsewhere and then bringing them to like a manufacturing site and then bringing the final goods to the city because trying to build and, and construct materials within the city limits is very tricky that's just kind of like m how my thought process has evolved around this game so s double steel uh we make steel bars out of you and then we do double depot out of that. And then from there, we make rail. Our little circle. And then the rail 
Oops. The rail comes over to this guy. Offload. Offload there. Double steel bar depot again. We do double factories of reinforced concrete. Uh, and then uh, we need a train. <laughs> it's like, what, what are we doing? Train. And we should uh, switch our factory in Nagoya back to train or uh, to making trains for a little bit. Because we are out of trains officially. Guangzhou is losing po population again. It's such a delicate balance. All right. Recycling centers is done. Uh, back to making some trains for a little bit. So we got mechanical parts. We got plenty of high tech parts just sitting around. There. And now Nagoya has taken off. The the high tech part production is there. The thing that they need is uh, waste disposal, which is going to be kind of tricky. Because as we've seen, you need to have a way to dispose of your steel, which we do want to put into reinforced concrete. I wish you could just like dump it into a hole. <laughs> so maybe what we want to do over here, we're just going to bulldoze more people's houses. I feel kind of bad about it, but it seems kind of necessary. So where does where do we want to put aluminum bars? Aluminum bars want to end up over here, I believe, right? Yeah, that's aluminum bar. And then the stainless steel, the steel bar wants to end up over there. So it's, it's like too far away from everything. Uh, so then the recycling center, you could throw, does this work? If it's like here, it doesn't. It's not touching the city. That's part of it is the waste disposal needs to be touching these squares in the city. Mm, I don't know how to do this. Could move oxygen production. Because it just like needs... It needs reinforced concrete. So we would ideally like to output steel bars over here. Where is this? What we could do is we could change where the aluminum bar is coming from. Because right now we're, we're delivering it from the field way over yonder. What if we... We're going to do like a big reconstruction project here. So let's go... So let's go aluminum depot here. Aluminum bar depot, I should say. And now, based on that, we would like to put a bunch of these recycling centers right next to that. So let's go one, two, three, four. Nope. One, two. They built back faster than I could build. <laughs> so these guys. Oh, these are atmospheric extractors. What the heck? You three. Uh, yes. Like that. Now, they need metal waste, which we can get from these guys. But, we need a depot that does exclusively metal waste. From here. And now, we do waste disposal. Dang it. Stop it. I guess I could pause time. <laughs> there we go. And now throw down the waste disposal. All, all six of them. And now they're going crazy. Yes, we've reached satisfactory waste disposal. And now Nagoya is green again. Fantastic. Guangzhou is at 1238. We're still insufficient from a... Uh... A, uh waste disposal perspective are you back to producing waste disposal units you are okay good so that means all we have to do in in guangzhou is just add more of these around 
which these guys can attach to. However, we're back to the problem we had before is we don't, we can't get rid of the uh, the stainless steel. That's correct. Hmm. So if we're delivering reinforced concrete over here, what do we think about bringing in <laughs> bringing in concrete again? Well, although what we could do is we could just. Uh, yeah, the real issue is it's just like we have nowhere to put it. We need to like process it into something, which is reinforced concrete, and then, you know, shovel that into a supply depot, which is here, and and here and here. The cool there is a small salt. It's a tiny sulfur field, but what we could do is set up the process at least to be able to yank this the uh the steel out of there bring it over here at least and then uh turn it into into reinforced concrete Yeah, because we'll need... Uh, yeah, let's let's try this. This is weird, but I think I like the idea of giving it a try. This is so messy. We need to do something about it. And then if we pull you out of there, you could end up over here. We could just do the tiniest little rail. And then connect up here, like that. One train that delivers steel between the two, like thus. Oh, uh, we want to invert that, flip that around. And then we need to set up a concrete field that connects here and goes all the way up yonder. We're, we're kind of figuring out the flow chart a little bit. So double, double uh, depots here. And then just like one, one sulfur guy. I love how I'm ignoring DACA again. Like <laughs> I started helping out DACA and then I was like, you know what? Screw that city. What have they done for me lately? All right, double concrete and then once again, a single train whose sole job is to bring concrete over here. And then that guy will pick that up. And then they will deliver concrete to this dude. Oh, we, we might have figured it out. All right. Back to Dhaka. Because we need to get to 3,000 population. Having Nagoya and Guangzhou growing together will help and might even push us over the threshold anyway but if we can figure this guy out that'll be good for everybody we need to change you to reinforced concrete at this point correct yes now you are doing your job i think what we need to do is actually delete this whole road oops Come on. Take all the trucks off of there. Oh, weird. The concrete, like, just sits on the ground. I wish there was, an, like, a paint deconstruct button. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Okay. Now, we need a new train. Why is that so wrong? There we go. <laughs> One of these days I'll internalize how that's actually supposed to look. Okay. Now, you need to be close enough to this guy to offload. Train. Starts over here. Right there. Do you even need a depot? 
outputting maybe you don't but maybe maybe we'll just do it like that reinforce concrete and then uh i guess it's nice to have a depot yeah if you don't have a depot you don't have any drones to to move stuff i take i rescind my question down to nagoya and we're delivering the re or uh daka and we're delivering the reinforced concrete that they so desperately need Guangzhou, still growing. We're at a population of 1344. Nagia has hit a limit as well. Holy cow, Nagia is even bigger. Still missing high-tech parts. You can't keep up with high-tech parts anymore? What are you out of? You're out of aluminum bars. How foolish of me, because I did, uh, or did the, the aluminum field run out? Because we do have these trucks running. Oh, we just don't have any trucks. Okay, give me more trucks. They're just not keeping up anymore with the demand. Hey, 10,000 in your biggest city. We've got access to nitrogen, water, NF3, and ice extractor extract I nitrogen and water from ice do we have ice on the planet oh <laughs> okay ah uh, things are getting more complicated i understand interesting all right well we need to get nagoya some more aluminum holy ten thousand in a city is gonna be a lot that's a lot to ask of me High tech parts. Your, you should be producing aluminum that we can use elsewhere. Ah, that was my plan. Is I was gonna move this truck. So let's change the origin of one of them and snag the aluminum from over here. What are you guys doing? Delivering concrete in the weirdest way. Once, once this field is utilized up, I'll be able to get rid of some of these trucks and then I'll, <laughs> I'll have a better idea of what I'm actually doing. Because, like, this one's got too much concrete. This one doesn't have enough concrete. It's just a, a weird mix of balance or imbalance in this is the case, maybe. Yeah, because this one's, like... I almost think I should flip-flop the two at this point. Yeah, this one's actually being serviced by two groups of trucks. So let's move you, put you here. Oh, we broke the train. Did we? I don't think we actually did. It looks like we broke the train. There, I think it's fixed. now what's the problem track interrupted well anyway still still going daca's growing that's a great thing so we need to continue growing those two cities uh guangzhou and, and nagoya guangzhou like grows and fits and spurts it kind of seems we've got a, a tenuous balance between our our growth and and non-growth We've hit 53 supply demand. We have plenty of oxygen, so the problem isn't the oxygen. Reinforced concrete is kind of keeping up with demand. I think it's all about high-tech parts now. Although the high-tech parts are keeping up too. Okay, well, interesting. Let's see. What do we do about ice drills? How does, how does one make an ice drill? It's made out of reinforced concrete and mechanical parts. Huh. So if I wanted to make an ice drill somewhere, where are we making reinforced concrete and mechanical parts? We got mechanical parts here. And then you're like making reinforced concrete just very slowly. Or you're not making it at all because all of your excavators have run out of iron. It'd be nice if there was like a 
an alert or something where they could be like, hey, your dumb fields have run out of resources. They're not dumb. They just did all their all the work they could possibly do. And then we don't need this funny little guy in the middle. Whoops. Bring that guy back. That, that'll help uh, Guangzhou out a lot, at least with the, the the steel. What we could consider doing, though, I almost, I should probably set it up elsewhere on the planet. You know how we have, like, our rail yard over here? We should set up a, or our, where is our rail yard? Ah, there's rail yard. Maybe we even do it in, even, even right here, actually. I like this plan. Let's let's qu set this up real quick. Is let's do, let's pause. Sulfur. Factory. To make concrete. And then concrete. Here. And this doesn't have to be the most efficient thing in the world because its sole purpose is to make ice drills. Whoops. Steel bar. And then we need another factory. We need a factory in the middle. We actually need a, a an output for steel bar here that then gets pulled into another factory that makes mechanical parts. Thusly. So you need a final assembler, which we don't have yet. Actually, we could go back to steel production. Swap you over to assembler real quick. Assembly plant. And then you, you need another set of iron producing things. Here. Which feed this factory, which is extra steel bars. That get then get pulled into this guy. Which feeds this factory, which makes reinforced concrete which then goes all the way over here. And th these two together will feed the assembler that makes, makes our ice drill. So we just need our, our assembler to show up from steel production. There it is. Back to the rail yard. Uh, here, assembly plant. And you shall assemble the ice extractor. Ha ha! Let's make a limit on that though, so it doesn't uh, doesn't go too crazy. Let's do like a limit of just ten for now. But this is the sole purpose of this entire thing down here, so we don't really have to babysit it too much once it hits that limit. We could always come back here and try like reconfigure this thing if we're we've hit our limit as far as. Uh, of what we need to do. Oh, aluminum in, in the ice. Is ice like all the way up north? I don't know. Continue to produce even if one of the outputs is full. Extract nitrogen water from ice. This must be ice. I could just set you down anywhere up here, maybe. And then maybe we can start greenhouse gas production at the at the at the pole. Are you the are you the geometric pole of the planet right here? This little nub? Geometric? I mean the the magnetic pole. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you guys want to see more Plan B Terraform or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.